All right, another awesome example here. Um, so we're doing L'Hopital some more here. Uh, the promise was that any of the famous new terminal forms can be tweaked uh, to give you uh, one of these ones. Um, in this case, we try our luck with this one, and if you try the plug-in method, that gives you. What does that give you? If I try the plug-in method here, the plug-in method would give me infinity here minus infinity. Aha! One of the famous indeterminate forms. And of course, we would like these ones because these ones are L'Hopital friendly. This is L'Hopital land right here. And <clears throat> this one is not, but maybe we can use our excellent tweaking skills to get that into this form. Are you afraid or not? Let's try it. So, the way we would do it would be, um, let me think, I could factor out an X out of here, let me do some work here, I could factor out an X out of there and I could say that that's the limit as X goes towards infinity, I factor out the X, that leaves a 1 minus the square root of uh, 1 plus 6 over X plus 3 over X square. Now this may need some explaining, but it's just algebra. What happens if I distribute? If I undo this, if I distribute that in there, that gives me x times one, which is x. I told you. And if I distribute it inside here, I have to square it to so it to get inside the square root. <clears throat> and if I square that, would give me an x square there. That's an x square. It would give me x squared times six over x, which would give me six over x. It would give me x squared times three over x squared. Try it. You'll see. Distribute this back in there correctly, and you'll get the same answer. <clears throat> Now I try the plug-in method and I still get uh, infinity times, this goes to zero, infinity times zero. Which now I've managed to turn that one into that one. That's no good, but wait, there's more. I could again rewrite it and say this is the limit as x goes towards infinity of one minus the square root of one plus six over x plus six over x squared all over one over x. And now if I try the plug-in method, of course I get infinity here, that gives, kills it to zero, that kills it to zero. That gives me one minus one, that gives me zero in the numerator and zero on the bottom. And now you say, whoa, yippee ki yay, even though you can't see it. Hold on, there you go, you can see it. Uh, <clears throat> that's nice right there. Um, that's exactly what we wanted. We wanted this form zero, zero so that we can apply L'Hopital. And now we go on and apply L'Hopital. I'll continue the line over here. This line continues from here. So I've got to take the derivative of the top. The derivative of the top, well, the derivative of that would be zero. I just have to take the derivative of this one, which would be one half times that to the negative one half times the derivative of the stuff inside, right? That's how you take the derivatives of the square root of anything. The square root of stuff would be one half stuff to the negative one half times stuff prime. The bottom is going to be easy to take the derivative of. Uh, the derivative of 1 over x is going to be negative 1 over x squared. All right, let's try it. So this is the same thing here. 1 plus 6 over x plus 3 over x squared. That's the stuff inside here. Now I've got to take the derivative of this, that. That becomes negative 6 over x squared. Uh, minus 3 times 2 over x to the 3. Got to take the derivative of that. And that's it. And of course, I still have a limit here. I keep forgetting as x goes towards infinity. And now um, I give myself a chance at the plug in method again. But first, I'm going to clean it up. I know I can multiply both sides by x squared and maybe clean that up. I think that becomes a limit as x goes towards infinity. I'm going to have a half 1 plus 6 over x plus 6. No, 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 3. Plus, uh, I'm right here. 3 over x squared, I don't know where I'm at, um, to the negative 1 half, and then I have negative 6, well that's going to be multiplied by that, so that's just going to give me 6, that's going to be multiplied by that when I flip it, so that will give me uh, plus 3 times 2 over x, um, the negative cancels that negative, and the x squared would kill 3 of those x's, leaving you just with 1x, and so this from this step, that's a no calculus, just algebra, third grade algebra. Flip this on the bottom and multiply times that. Alright, I've tried my luck again at the plug-in method. The plug-in method. <clears throat> and see how it goes. X is going towards infinity. That kills that piece, that kills that piece, that kills that piece. All I'm left with after I try the plug-in method, it looks like a 1 half times a 1 to the negative 1 half times a 6. Which of course is just a half times a 6. 
you be guy ye. See why they pay me? I told you, didn't I tell you? Every one of the indeterminate forms can always be changed into uh, one of the L'Hopital ones. All right, I think I'll leave you with that. Go on and practice some more. Get your L'Hopital on. Um, I think we'll see you guys here next time. I hope L'Hopital, everything else, L'Hopital, everything else. You can get with this or you can get with that. You can get with this or you can get with that. Alright, we'll see you guys. Peace.